Hello YouTube. My five viewers might remember that sometime about a year ago I uploaded a video about uh, visiting Romania, Bucharest and Rus and Silistra in Bulgaria. And uh, now I'm back permanently because I moved to Silistra. I'm now living here. This is the local park, the Danube Garden. As you can see, there are not so many people here right now. Uh, I suppose that's because of the time of day, because it's very hot. It's in the middle of the day. Uh, I can tell you temperatures here right now are about 30 degrees. But in the evenings, there are a lot of people. And in the mornings. I usually go down here in the mornings because uh, the room service lady of the hotel that I live in uh, she comes between 10 and 12 sometime around that so I prefer to be out of the room around that time so that she can do her thing and This is a great place to sit and relax if the air is not too hot. Uh, many places with shadow where you can sit. So this is where I live in Silistra for the time being until I find something more permanent. Um, and uh, this place where I'm sitting now is there are some tables out here that where you can you can sit and have a drink in the in the afternoon or. When it's too hard, you can sit in the shade. And this is my room where I live with my faithful companion, my pet dragon, Spuff. Which is actually a backpack, a school bag. Yeah, my bed, my stuff. And let's not forget about Teddy and the plushies that I of course also brought with me. And over here I have a makeshift kitchen corner. Where I got bread and potato chips down there and we got other stuff. And down here I have a little refrigerator. I also got my stuff with some meat and, uh, and veggies and yeah and here I have yeah plates and a bowl and oatmeal in the morning so that I can make my own simple dinners rather than have to eat at restaurants all the time which wouldn't be a problem though because things here in Bulgaria are very cheap including including food but uh, the thing is that I have to pay rent two places I have to pay, uh, pay rent for the hotel of course and I have to also pay rent for my apartment for the next four months after I moved out uh, or until they find a new tenant but once I'm done paying the rent for the apartment back in Denmark then there's not going to be a, a problem and not much of a window view though but if I get rid of this and I open the window wide, then as you can see, the window sill here is plenty wide that I can sit here in the sit here and enjoy the fresh air and sit here in the ledge and maybe watch videos on YouTube or whatever I want to do. Yep. Oh, and this thing is a thermal sensor. Oh, it's a tin can with a thermal sensor inside it. Hope oh, you can see it. For my thermometer, my indoors outdoors thermometer. As you can see, it's it's 33 degrees outside now.
For dinner today, I made hot dogs, well, kind of, with potato chips and fake milk based on coffee creamer. It tastes okay. Uh, reason being I'm lazy and because it's getting a little late. So also I didn't want to spend much time on it. And what is dinner if not with a good film? And by the time I finish dinner, it pretty much coincides with the time also that the sun is setting behind the rooftops, which is a good thing because that means I don't get baked by the sunlight. It also means that the temperatures are on the way down, which is a good thing also because, yeah. So, that means it's time to go back to the park. So I'm going to go back to the park for an evening walk before the sun goes down. And sunset over the Danube River. That over there on the other side, that's Romania. Because the border between Bulgaria and Romania, uh, that goes right here in the middle of the river. And Look at all those sunflowers. And out there, people fishing. <laughs>